Dr. Herbert Virgin and his colleagues are looking for pathways. When a series of steps within our own cells, which we call pathways, function in the wrong way, they can contribute to disease. Now, signposts for the steps and pathways that allow us as scientists to decide how to focus our research come from identifying genetic mutations that some people carry that make them more likely to have diseases like inflammatory bowel disease. Now, each person has a unique, a very personal pattern of such signposts. And it's our job to read the signs and to get to places that can help people. When the pattern of genetic mutations in a person is related to a particular disease, researchers can use that personal pattern of genes to identify a genetic pathway that contributes to the disease. These pathways, then, can be targeted for developing medicines, diagnostics that might help us identify or prevent or treat that disease. But there are a lot of different genetic pathways that can contribute to a single disease. One of the things that's really energized us is that researchers around the world working very closely together, studying literally tens of thousands of patients, have solved a major mystery by identifying more than 100 places in the human chromosome that contain gene mutations now proven to contribute to Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. And our job in the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation Genetics Initiative is to mine these amazing data and classify the signposts as pointing to individual pathways that we can then target for diagnostics or for new treatments. To us, this is a significant advance. These are chronic diseases that cause tremendous pain, suffering, loss of work and happiness. They can be very debilitating. They can require surgery and treatments can be very costly and sometimes can have dangerous side effects. These diseases can even be deadly. And we think we can change that if we meet our scientific goals. The diseases we're talking about are complicated. Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are really many different disease processes that lead to similar symptoms. And therefore, even people with very similar disease symptoms may need medicines that are specifically targeted to the pathways that are part of their personal disease story. Responses to treatments can vary between different people, and the environment that a person is in also plays an important role. There's not just one thing, it's individual. This means we have to be able to personalize our treatments and our scientific approaches. Disease pathways can be genetic, and they can also be influenced by the environment. For instance, they can be related to the microbiome, which is the trillions of bacteria and viruses that we carry on us or in us that affect our own body's functions. When we understand the multiple pathways within a given individual that cause the disease, we then have a chance to try and personalize the care for that person's disease. You can imagine treating inflammatory bowel diseases like a game of darts. Bullseye is the cause of the disease in that person that we're trying to treat, and the dart is the treatment. Until now, treating inflammatory bowel diseases sometimes felt like playing darts without a bullseye. Not really knowing the cause, we're trying to change. Now we have several new bullseyes to go after. That's the breakthrough, that's tremendous progress, and to us that's very exciting because of the potential that we have to do something important and helpful for these patients. Defining these important pathways will lead to better individualized therapies very soon. This genetics initiative, and also our parallel microbiome research, will shape the future of treatment through the efforts of the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. And our work will continue, developing new therapies, finding more pathways that lead us to better and better treatment approaches. We would like patients who may be suffering today to know that the future looks very hopeful to us and that we will do everything we can to make sure that real solutions are not far off. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America is embarking on the next phase of our genetics and microbiome research initiatives. Please visit ccfa.org to help us lead the way into the future of treatment and the eventual prevention and cure of IBD.